Welcome, adventurers, to the latest installment of Skyrim's Finest Mods. In this edition, we'll be showcasing the absolute must-have mods that have emerged in the final week of October 2023. From enchanting armors to fearsome creatures, we've got it all covered. So grab your gear and let's dive in. First, I'd like to introduce an outfit. Today, I have an outfit that I really want to show you. It's the Sangria Outfit by Carnarvon. This adds a stylish outfit inspired by the character Kafka from Honkai Star Rail. In my case, I wore a custom wig, but the wig included in this outfit is also of excellent quality. Each outfit consists of hot pants, a jacket with swaying sleeves, and cool accessories like glasses and a greatsword. As for the white blouse, a lewd version is also provided. If exposing the chest makes you uncomfortable, you can try wearing the blouse lewd with the Cosplay Pack Outfit's Oreo bra for a different look. Moreover, the ring has four wires connected to the hand, allowing for an even more impressive look when used in pose mode. Upgrade your character with this stylish outfit. Next up is the Red Sonia Armor and Weapon Set, Rumple version. This armor is inspired by the warrior Red Sonia from a comic and movie. It's a modified version of the Red Sonia armor with a bit more exposure, giving off strong Dragon Quest vibes. It evokes the image of an elf warrior with a fantasy touch and higher exposure. While it's generally revealing, the boots, right shoulder, gauntlet, cape, and weapon blend well to enhance the overall completeness of the outfit. It seems to fit seamlessly into the Elder Scrolls world while maintaining a high level of quality. I wanted to recommend it to you, so I introduced it here. Next, we have Obi's Worm Slayer Armor. This outfit introduces a splendid blend of leather and chainmail for effective protection. It's a leather suit that envelops the entire body, tailored to fit snugly. Certain parts are reinforced with steel and chainmail. The gloves and boots are equipped with claws, and the helmet comes in versions with and without hair, offering several options. This outfit appears to be durable, yet provides a sense of agility. It seems sturdy enough to withstand a dragon's fire. If it appeals to you, I recommend giving it a try. Next, let's talk about an animation mod. I've brought a few noteworthy releases from today for you. First up is Yongriming's Devil Trigger. This mod adds the Devil Trigger feature to the previously introduced MCO Devil Sword Dante Reanimated Moveset. It closely resembles the Devil May Cry game, featuring vibrant and impressive animations and effects. By pressing the left or right directional keys, along with the power or normal attack key, you can transform into Devil Trigger Stage 1 and Stage 2, unleashing additional stylish attacks and effects. Particularly, Devil Trigger Stage 2 transforms you into a magnificent creature with four wings, creating a dazzling and impactful display. In this form, you can hover, dash in a swirling motion, and unleash powerful fire attacks. If you're a fan of the DMC-style combat, this mod is definitely worth your attention. Next, we have the Malignus Animations, Random Idols Talk Barter mod. This mod provides new random idol, talk, and barter animations for non-combat situations. If you remain silent during a conversation, various idol animations will be triggered, enhancing the immersion in the game. Additionally, this mod is based on Open Animation Replacer, making it convenient to toggle motions on and off partially, and the animations themselves are natural and likely to appeal to you. Increase immersion through a variety of motions. In this segment, I've brought a few noteworthy mods to your attention. First, we have the Necrotic Magic mod. This mod, created by Darini, is a spell pack designed to balance vanilla spells with a focus on the theme of necrotic magic. 
It introduces a variety of spells centered around necrotic themes, such as corpse explosions and minor corpse sacrifices. You can also summon necrotic series weapons and creatures related to necrotic. If you're interested in playing a class centered around the concept of necrotic, I recommend giving this magic mod a try. Next up is the Skeletal Revenants, Mihail Monsters and Animals mod. Created by Mihail, this creature mod adds 39 types of skeletal undead creatures to the game. They have a terrifying appearance and powerful abilities, bringing a new challenge and fun to the world of Skyrim. They feel quite formidable, and some of these creatures explode upon death, causing additional damage to the player, adding a unique touch. In fact, the vanilla skeletons in Skyrim feel rather weak, so these skeleton creatures come across as significantly stronger, using humanoid skeletons and even utilizing MCO movesets. This is why I wanted to introduce them to you. Give them a try if you like what you see. Next up is Natural Waterfalls, Dragonborn. This mod beautifully enhances and refines all waterfalls across the Solstheim region, creating a more natural and breathtaking atmosphere. Crafted by leveraging the Natural Waterfalls mod, it's essential to have it installed for this enhancement. With this mod, the nine major waterfalls in Solstheim and the rushing currents between them have been meticulously redesigned, offering a heightened sense of realism and vitality. Finally, the mod I'd like to introduce to you is Conj's Spell Tomes Animated. This is the Spell Tome version of the previously featured Ogma Infinium series. It adorns magical tomes with new meshes and textures, incorporating glowing and particle effects, and ensuring animations even when the book is not being manipulated. With each of the five spell tomes meticulously reconstructed at up to 4K resolution, the quality of Conja's mod is truly outstanding. Immerse yourself in a high-quality Skyrim experience with Conja's creations. And there you have it, folks. Those were the standout Skyrim mods of the final week of October 2023. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more epic mod showcases. Your support keeps us going. Until next time, may your adventures in Skyrim be legendary.